This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Alyssa, orange time here on halftime from Pictro Nation and a good friend of ours. We appreciate you, Alyssa. Have you made it back Hello, uh, into Arkansas? Are you still out? Uh, are you still out in Virginia? I, I am back in Fayetteville. Landed last night, and uh, it was a great trip. I don't know if I could call it a vacation on trips like those, where you're just seeing so many people and family. Not a lot of time to relax, but enjoyed the time, and it's good to be back at home. Sleeping in my own bed last night was really nice. Yeah. Hey. I, I was so. 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 Arkansas football and. I, I, I think of the of the phrase "no news is good news." Um, the news has been all about people leaving, like Barry Odom or Dowell Loggins or Trey Knox, you know, or the guys that are headed yeah. to the NFL. We've only heard a little trickle. You know, three players have committed to come to Arkansas, um, and and no one's necessarily been blown away by that yet. Um, you know, we need to. We're going to hear from Sam Pittman on on Friday. I think that's what yeah. fans need right now. They need to hear from yeah. the head coach. I, I think you're absolutely right. And I think that right now what's happened, and it always happens in situations like this where there's not an opportunity to say anything from the Arkansas football staff and the head coach, that there's a lot of speculation. And so rumors get started on social media and people are talking and people are trying to figure things out and no one really knows what's going on, and you're hearing this and you're hearing that, and maybe some players have said, I saw something on Twitter the, uh, maybe yesterday on the way back about, you know, Miles Flusher left and said things aren't what they seem. Maybe this is what he means. And it's like, guys, we really just don't know. And it seems daunting at the time where it feels like everyone is gone. But you do have to remember, Phil, like you said, they have had a few guys come in, but they're selective and they're patient. And you can't fault Dow Loggins for going to be the offensive coordinator at South Carolina. It's a better job. You can't fault Trey Knox in making a decision to follow, possibly follow, I'm not saying that at all, possibly follow his tight end coach, who he loves, to a school that, oh, the wide receiver coach also happens to be the guy that recruited you out of high school. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with that, but it seems logical that that could be an option. Um, so it just feels like everything is is, oh, this, 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 this. Let Sam Pittman put some calm back into the situation, some, I say logic, but some some perspective on what's happening. And it always feels like it's worse when it's the team that you cover that you root for, right, Phil? Like, no one's paying attention to everyone else who's flipping over two in the country, but it's Arkansas and the, the world is falling apart. Yeah, we, we, we lost our D.C. And, and losing Dow. Give us some good news. What do you think uh, are, are some moves that, that, that are on the horizon for this football team? Well, I think, honestly, you know, you look at Jacoby Criswell coming in, and I feel like that kind of scooted under the radar, but that's a really big position to get a guy like him who, you know, related to Dre Greenlaw, um, to be a backup quarterback. That's the big thing that Arkansas has missed, truly, is a solid backup QB, and you hope Jacoby Criswell can be that. So I'm excited to see how he grows under KJ, what he blossoms into, and a guy that if KJ were to be out, and we've seen it the past couple of years, that there's going to be maybe a game where he can't play, a guy like Jacoby Criswell can come in. I love that. I think we're going to get um, another guy and a defensive coordinator who's going to be – exciting and new and fresh and if there's anything exciting about that it's Arkansas fans and Barry Odom who I will follow his career I, I really appreciate the time I got to spend with him and, and cover him but it's just something new and exciting and that's always fun too what's he going to bring to the table who is it going to be what is our defense going to look like who can he bring with him so there's a lot of ways to look at what's happening and turn that into okay but how do we change our perspective and see Oh, something new, something fresh. That can be fun. And and I, I wonder, like, can, anything that happens positively in the Liberty Bowl, I don't know if people, like, in their minds take it into next season. Unless, like, you know, Isaiah Satania has himself a nice game and we haven't had, you mm -hmm. know, a chance to see him do very much. But it's like the – it feels almost like, <laughs> like at least – publicly to, to people in their mind, like the only things that can come out of the Liberty Bowl would be, gosh, if we lose, man, that's 
No one will take a win very seriously about it, I guess is what I, is what I mean. Uh, they take a loss a heck of a lot more seriously. Yeah. Well, I think so. Um, just because, you know, that's that's not the way you want to end things as we sit here and talk about everything that is happening with this Arkansas program. Then you turn around and you lose a bowl game. Um, that's not going to be very fun, and that's not going to excite a fan base. I think you win that game, and it reminds the fan base, yeah, we lost. A lot, I guess, uh, uh, depending on how you want to look at it. But we're still competitive. We still have talent on this roster. Don't give up on this Arkansas football team just because we've had departures. Look at what the future can look like. So if you're watching this game, and we talked about this last week, like it's a dress rehearsal for a lot of these guys. It's a it's an audition for so many players that are young on this roster. I would suggest approaching the bowl game as a way to see, let's look and see what the future could look like and some potential, like you mentioned, a guy like Isaiah Satanga having a big game or Quincy McAdoo. Like, how fun would it be if we see Matt McAdoo play both ways a little bit? Like, that would be awesome. So kind of look at it through that lens a little bit. Yeah, it's an opportunity and, and, and keep it simple and let the kids fly around. And it, it's it's awesome, man, that the bowl game sh- should be it's a reward. So uh, and, and even though Liberty scares me because we lost to Liberty already, uh, maybe we should have <laughs> should went to a different bowl. But uh, no, it'll yeah. be, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out and be all right. I, I don't think we've gotten better. I think we've gotten worse uh, in the last three weeks as far as losing some of our guys and, and other teams are getting better. Yeah. So that's but that's I mean, like you said, be sure. patient and, uh, and and we can we can get better. Yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. It, there is a point to where um, the roster is like, okay, well, what's going on here? And you see other talented guys going elsewhere. But patience is huge. And Sam knows what he needs to bring in. And maybe they're waiting to hire some replacements. And it's why they haven't gotten guys, uh, as many guys out of the portal as they have, because they want to see who's going to be coaching them first, right? Uh, but I think you're absolutely right, Matt. I think it definitely looks at like, okay, well, Arkansas's roster right now is is weak compared to maybe what Kansas is, is coming in. We'll see how it goes. Well, Kansas, like, has had maybe one player. Uh, that they haven't been to a bowl game, what, is that 13 years, Phil? Is that what they were saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're going to be hyped up. They're going to be ready yeah. to go, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna, they're they're kind of in the position that the Razorbacks were in last year, and maybe Arkansas is a little more in the position that Penn State was in last year. You know, yeah. it's... It's like uh, it's a bowl game, but it it isn't necessarily like the one or the the tier bowl game that the program uh, expected to be at or wanted to be at. I mean, it, it, there is a feeling of a consolation to this. You know, they, it's something, but it's not what you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah I I can see that a hundred percent. I think everyone wanted this team to be going somewhere warmer. Uh, which have meant more wins. And and you look back and you can see the games where they could have had more wins, had one thing gone the other way. Um, But it's, it's just, I don't know, maybe I look at things sometimes through a different lens when it comes to stuff like this to where, like, I don't want to soak in more negative than I have to. So trying to look at ways to make this a positive thing for the Razorbacks, like the extra practices and development that they can do with the guys that they have um, and see what this team can how they face this adversity off the field that they're about to that they're enduring right now and will probably continue to endure uh once you know everything is said and done and the dust settles before this bowl game but um i'm not a super doom and gloom person so i understand how some people feel i just don't want to look through it necessarily at that lens all the time and a little bit of basketball, I mean, we don't know what's going on with Texas. I don't know if they have a chance to still win the title. They they have some talent, uh, but they're, they're a team ranked yeah. ahead of us. But you, you look at Arkansas, and I love our guards, Alyssa Devo, <laughs> Nick, Ricky, A.B., yeah. and being able to play Jordan Walsh at the four spot. I, I think we're only going to get better. Uh, well, yeah, what yeah. are your thoughts on this Arkansas basketball team so far? Uh, they're, they're still so fun to watch, and they've got some things to iron out. I know it was a little bit of a slow start against Oklahoma, but then they really got it going. But we're seeing um, Nick Smith Jr. come along so quickly from coming back. Uh, already named uh, freshman of the week a couple of times, put up 21 points in 28 minutes, which is impressive. Um, and he is going to be fun to watch. Even Anthony Black, though, only scoring, I think, seven points um, or so against I think he was Oklahoma. four for four. Yeah, yeah, he was very efficient. Yeah, yeah. Not, 
Yeah, no, but it was great. But he's but he's such a, a a force on the court that he brings attention to himself that allows those other guys to have the performances as he do. So maybe the stat sheet isn't as big for Anthony Black as it is, but he still has a presence that makes you pay attention to him. Uh, and Ricky Council playing 40 minutes against OU, that was crazy. So uh, And a lot of fun to watch. So they're just continuing to get better and better, um, and it's exciting to see. Man, these Little Rock games always make me nervous, though. They don't play very well when they go down to Little Rock, so I'm hoping that they can right the ship and play Bradley well on Saturday. Nah, they, I mean, I think they'll be fine. I think uh, Nick Smith <laughs> returning so. into North Little Rock, Devo returning into North Little oh, I think they're going to play well. The women's team Absolutely. has a really interesting trip coming up, too. And, yeah. I mean, they're, they're going to be tested. I mean, really tested. Mm-hmm. They have three, mm-hmm. potentially three, top 25 teams on their schedule uh, over the next uh, three games. You know, they got Creighton, uh, which is mm-hmm. uh, a road game on Saturday. Creighton is tied for 16th in the nation with the team that Arkansas opens up in San Diego with. Oregon, they're 16th. They beat Oregon. They're probably playing against number three, Ohio State. So, you know, it's they're yeah. undefeated, man. It's going to be tough to stay undefeated over the yeah. next three games. Yeah, absolutely. And this is, I mean, you remember when Mike Neighbors was worried about going to the Paradise Jam, saying, look, you, you go to these things, you could leave 0-3. Well, you can look at this trip, too, and you can go 0-3. I don't think that they will, but this is a really, really tall test for them and a great measuring stick to where this team is right now. They've been able to play and battle through a little bit of, of adversity through some of these games. Uh, but I think the most that they learned about themselves was in that win against Kansas State and that win against Clemson where they were able to to really make it known, like, hey, we're, we're a solid team and people need to pay attention to us. Um, and and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing the elevation of play from Sailor Poffenberger. We've seen a lot from her. What is Jersey going to do? You've got Chrissy Carr who still has that experience. She played on the West Coast for a little bit. So um, it'll be exciting to see what happens with this women's team. I don't think they leave undefeated. They'll lose to somebody. Um, but I think it's going to be a good test for them and, and how this team continues to evolve in the makeup uh, of what they look like. Yeah, I, I hope Sailor's shot comes around because it, it you know she's played incredibly well as far as ball yeah. handling, defense, rebounding and she's on the court uh, probably about as more than than anybody else because she's such a versatile player the shot hasn't been falling just yet she's got a pretty shot yeah. you can see the frustration on her face too uh, i'm just you know sooner or later you expect it to come around because that's her reputation is as somebody that can do it all and shoot from almost any angle well i think the good thing phil right is if we know anything if you are a shooter it'll eventually come back to you It'll come back. It's like kind of being a hitter. If you go through a slump, it'll eventually come back. Something's going to break at four, and she'll open it back up. But I remember uh, a couple weeks ago being at the women's game on a Thursday, and uh, it was against Troy when Chelsea Dungy was back, and Sailor's mom was in town. And every time she put up a shot, her mom was like, Sailor! You know, uh, hopefully we can see some of those shots fall for her. Her mom would be excited. Alyssa, I have to do about – I got like – eight or nine things i've got to wrap you know for because okay. hanukkah starts on uh, on sunday i gotta get this stuff yeah. taken care of tonight or Hurry tomorrow up. and i gotta do it when the kids aren't watching and they're gonna be here the next yep. couple of nights um Ooh. i'm not very good at wrapping gifts is this something mm-hmm. that you have skill in i do like to wrap gifts and i guess i can give you a pro tip um Saul has actually done what he wraps it at work i didn't know if there's a way you can wrap it somewhere else he wraps it he wraps the gifts at work and brings them home wraps already uh but uh the biggest the key that i could give you is uh crease the paper when you make the fold it helps when you if you were if you're able to make a fold and then crease it it'll hold it so not you're not like having to hold it and then you know try to hold something else and wish you had four arms trying to make wraps and tape and put everything in place probably some good advice there crease the paper (laughs) Very Crease helpful. the paper. 
Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B L E A V. Bet online where the game starts.